So here's a more extensive video on the trigger system on our Slant 6 conversion. This kind of project is a challenge. If any of you are doing this on any old engine, this was originally designed in the 50s, so had points. And hopefully you'll get a few pointers out of here to help you do a conversion of your own. So you could use an electronic distributor that will give you essentially three pulses per revolution. So you'd actually have to maintain your stock uh, distributor for the spark system and realize that you would have a batch fuel system. So all injectors would fire every time. Initially I tried using a Toyota cam sensor which fit very nicely into the stock distributor housing. This gave me an equivalent of 12 teeth per revolution. Unfortunately, it was an analog signal, so um, had to depend on the ECU to do the triggering. The Toyota sensor actually uh, tied its ground together and then had uh, three output wires, one for the 24 tooth and two home positions. So I only needed one of the homes. And unfortunately, because the ground was all tied together, you can see by the oscilloscope traces, the waveforms fluctuated as it went through its revolution. Every time there's a home event, it would lower the voltage on the trigger. I got this to run, uh, it would still occasionally lose track of its sync, which uh, because this is direct fire and sequential injection uh, could cause some very interesting drivability problems. I even went as far as uh, trying to use some digital pickups, which just means there's a transistor inside the pickup to give a square wave signal. And eventually, I just this wasn't going to work either, so we went to a crank trigger system. I knew it would take me a while to get it to actually fit in this car. You can see I've got uh, three belts there because of air conditioning, power steering. Um, this is a 60 tooth, it's missing two teeth, and then uh, the distributor had to be modified to give a uh, home signal to the ECU. This system will allow quicker starting. Um, the Haltech ECU will actually do semi-sequential and then wasted spark during the crank until it gets its home signal from the uh, your modified distributor in this case. Also remember when you're modifying your distributor to get that home signal which is gives reference for number one cylinder top dead center you're going to be removing your vacuum and mechanical advance. Your ECU can do your uh, advance curve calculations and with a direct fire ignition, that's your best way to go.